right, thank you for joining me for today's Lunch and Learn. I'm Keith Armour, I'm the Education and Homework Support Manager. Uh, currently right now, I'm in the Adult Learning Center at the Main Library. We are open Monday through Saturday from 10 in the morning until six at night, so come on by. But today's Lunch and Learn, we're going to uh, look at a couple of things that are happening around the library, but then we're gonna dive right into uh, Canopy. It is a streaming service that is totally free just with your library card. All you have to do is you have to get the app, you have to put your library card information in, and then you have access to over 3,000 popular movies, independent movies, international movies, documentaries, and even great courses that are available just by having your library card. So let's go ahead and take a look at Canopy. Well, all right, you all should be seeing now our wonderful website uh, at cincinnatilibrary.org. And we're going to come right underneath our new logo is Browse. We're going to click on Browse. And then right over here, it says Stream and Download. So we're going to click on that. And you know that uh, we have so many different resources for you to stream and download things on your computer, on your mobile device. Today we're even talking about your TV. You obviously know that we provide you with eBooks and e-audiobooks, and these these apps right here will help you stream music and downloadable music as well. And then these apps help you with our magazine collection, and we're talking about current and popular magazines for these. So check that out. But today we're going to be talking about streaming movies and more. We are going to talk about Canopy. Um, but I do want to put a little shout out for Hoopla and Overdrive over here. They do have some films and TV shows. It's not a huge collection, but it's a really nice collection of different TV shows and different um, movies that they have. So check those out just with your library card. But we're going to go to Canopy, and I like what we've written right here. It says, stream more than 3,000 free movies, documentaries, film and indie films, classic cinema, shorts, educational videos, and children's programming. They do have a couple of uh, special collections, the Criterion Collection, and then they have the great courses as well. So um, obviously you can download the app, and of course you can go to Google Play too. But before we do that, we're gonna go to this little link right here that says get the app. When you open up this, it's going to directly tell you um, how to, what devices you can use. Uh, so these are the Canopy TV apps. So if you have an Apple TV or Amazon Fire TV or Android or Samsung or Roku or, or any of these, um, you'll find the directions for each one of them. So if I click on Apple TV right here, it's going to give me step-by-step -step directions about how to link my account, my library account, with Canopy. Um, now, you'll need to have your library card and you'll need to have your pen, so keep that handy. If you don't have a library card with us so far, um, give us a call at 513-369-6900 and we'll get you a library card. But that's going to give you all the different directions over here as well for all of those TV apps. So you can make it a lot easier to do. You obviously can watch it on the computer, and I'm gonna show you that here, but um, you can get those special apps for those TV devices. Now, if you are like everyone else, you're watching things uh, when you're in line or you're waiting here or doing that, and you're using mobile devices more, um, they also have the mobile apps and you just click right here. And then you'll see for iOS devices, Android, and of course, Amazon Fire tablets as well. And if you click on that, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch that are listed on the devices that they support to give you step-by-step -step directions on how to do that, okay? I'm gonna click out of that and go back here. Now we're gonna view on the browser, so we're gonna view on the computer. So I'm gonna click here. Now, I've already logged into my account, so you'll see that my name appears right up here, and you'll see this number 19. Now, 19, um, the library has given everyone who logs into Canopy um, 20 credits. So you have 20 credits. That means 20 things that you can view 
for the entire month of October. And as soon as November happens on Sunday, you can go ahead and you will have 20 more credits. You don't build up credits, you only get 20 credits each month. So keep that in mind. You'll notice that there's all sorts of different things. They have newly added movies here. And if I put my mouse over it, a little uh, summary of the movie shows up and it gives me some ratings and then I can either watch it or I can add it to my list or I could just click on it and I could get more information. But let's look, here I am scrolling through and you'll see there's more movies here and these are newly added to Canopy. So you'll notice like the Hurricane and the Pride of the Yankees, those are pretty old movies, but they keep adding a new and older movies to the collection, okay? Now, if I go over here, newly added documentaries, if I just click on the title, it'll open up and it'll show me that the newly added documentaries, there's actually 829 videos here, and they have a huge selection of documentaries. So check that out. Now, if I was going to go to booksellers, let's say I click into booksellers, and I'm going to be able to read a little bit more about what the, what the movie is about, what the documentary is about. It's going to tell me how long it is. And it's just going to give me some basic information. It's also going to give me ideas down here. The people that watch the booksellers are also people that watch some of these movies as well down here. So you might want to check those out. There are, you could add comments if you wanted to add. Um, they are going to stop doing those comments in 2021. There's also some related videos over here as well. Now, when I if I clicked on this and let it play for five seconds, you have committed to that movie. Um, and you'll notice that the number will go down. So after five seconds, you have committed to that movie. Say you don't know much about this movie, and you'll notice that there's nothing on here that shows you a preview of the movie. You only have this right down here that's telling you like a little summary of what the movie's about. But if I copy Booksellers and open it up, look right here, I can say Booksellers Official Trailer. So I can watch the trailer that way. So that's one way that I think is really easy when you're on the computer or on a device instead of on your TV to actually look at some of the trailers before you commit to a movie. I'm going to go back to uh, Canopy and we'll go back here. So once again, if you uh, none of these will show you a preview of the movie. And once you have gone five seconds into the movie, that counts as a credit. Now, the good thing is you have three days, 72 hours to finish watching that. So you could actually start the movie in the morning, watch it, watch it about 15 minutes. And then later on, when you got home from work or you had a little bit more time, you could watch the rest of it. You have up to three days, 72 hours to finish that. There's always some timely stuff up here. You had said Black Lives Matter um, material was just before that. And then, of course, celebrating the, the right of women to vote. And then classic cinema here. Let's just click on classic cinema. And that's going to be 676 videos that are classic cinema. And right here, one of my all-time favorites is Dial M for Murder. And, of course, um, this has a nice array of uh, characters, fun story, um, kind of intriguing. It will tell you um, the, the, how long it is and of course when it was made and the rating as well. Now when I put my mouse over filmmakers for Alfred, Hitch Alfred Hitchcock, um, if I click on here you're going to see all the movies that Canopy has with this wonderful director. So same thing with Grace Kelly. If I want to look at some other movies that Grace Kelly will be in that's on in the Canopy collection, um, I can click there. Um, the people who watched um, Dial In for Murder also watch these movies down here. And actually, I already watched The Stranger. And you can tell because this green line appears, 
that means that I've already watched The Stranger, which was a great movie as well. I've watched Dial M for Murder a lot of times. Um, and then, of course, here's some other related videos over here, too. Now, once again, if I didn't know anything, I could read the summary of, um, of the movie, or I could just look it up on the computer and click on a, an official trailer of the movie to see if I like it. So that's one way that you can work around um, previewing the movie before you um, it counts towards your 20. So if I click back to Canopy, there's just all sorts, newly added movies, newly added documentary, world cinema. If you're, um, if you're kind of really missing those foreign films and great film festivals that always happen at uh, this time of the year, um, it, it's, it's just a great place to actually catch a foreign film. You can see the ratings on here as well. Um, voting rights, there's, there's all these documentaries there. There's a lot of things from PBS. There's a lot of things from the History Channel here and from a and &E. You can learn about the extraordinary lives of all of these individuals here. And remember, it just keeps going on and on and on over here. And then of course, you've got 31 um, Days of Horror. So if I click here, You've got 66 different movies um, that you might actually reintroduce to uh, that you forgot that you watched um, or maybe something new. Uh, this one was out, I think, last year and was very creepy. Um, and I did check that one out. And there's some classics on here as well. Uh, M, that's a great movie. Uh, but the, there's 66, so you can choose from all sorts of different um, shows from around the world to classics and, of course, modern classics as well. Now, you can come up to Browse up here. And if I click on, if I move my mouse over Browse, you'll see that you have movies and it shows you all the different categories of movies that are over here, all the different categories of documentaries and the arts, business, education, global studies and languages, health, media and communication, science, social studies, um, uh, social sciences, sorry, <laughs> and of course, instructional films and lessons, and then staff picks. We pick staff picks. There's gonna be 451, and that's the staff that has put together um, these selections. Um, these are indie movies, and there's a whole bunch of indie movies that the staff suggests. Um, some wonderful documentaries you could check out, world cinema, uh, classic cinema, and short film. So there's 451. Sometimes it's better to just let someone else try to pick a movie for you, and you could go ahead and select those. Um, now, I want to show you two things that are really special about Canopy. Um, obviously, you want to kind of guard your number, and usually is great because Canopy will send you an email um, updating you on new things that they add to their collection, but also to remind you that you have so many credits left. So I expect an email today or tomorrow that's going to say, hey, you have enough time uh, to watch a whole bunch of things if you'd like um, for the month of October, and then, of course, they'll let me know at the beginning of November that my count is back up to 20. But if I go over here to Canopy for Kids, you'll notice the first thing that happens is that number disappears next to my name. And the reason being is that the library subscription um, that you wonderful taxpayers uh, help with the library, um, this is unlimited access to all of the material So if I, for children. So if I click on funny stuff, You'll see all just for funny stuff. If I can get it to work, there we go. There's 14 videos for funny stuff in that collection, and each one will tell you um, what it's about and how long it will how long it will be as well. So if I click back, we're talking about um, uh, Halloween this weekend. Here's a wonderful one. 
a wonderful book. And all of these are associated with books. Um, you'll see, of course, the wonderful Pigeon series. But here is Creepy Carrots. And it's a wonderful picture book. Um, but if I clicked here, it would not count against me. Um, but it's only 10 minutes long. And it's something that you could have on a device for your child um, while they're waiting in line for something or, or out and about. Um, and then they could also watch these. But that's totally unlimited, um, all of the programs for just children. And they've got funny stuff, myths, myths, myths and fables, creatures and characters, quick flicks, TV series. Look at all of these ones from PBS. They have movies that are just for children. And if we click here for movies, there's 115 movies that are just for um, children. If I go back and stories from around the world, story time, um, French cinema. Oh, I went all the way back, sorry. Let me go back to uh, kids. Yeah. So there's all sorts of wonderful things that are here. Okay. So um, check that out. And remember, it does not count against your total number of 20 that you get, 10, 20 credits that you get. If I clicked on uh, where the wild things are, I could watch the wild things. It's only eight minutes. It's a wonderful story time. Uh, and if your child likes where the wild things are, they might like these uh, videos as well. And then there's a whole bunch of related videos as well over here. But, you know, Canopy for Kids is just wonderful. It's just a great thing. Um, so they're getting some literature. And then you can ask the library to actually find the true story of the three little pigs. And they could put it um, so you could pick that up at curbside. Um, so your child will actually have the book and you can reread it with your child. Um, Giraffes Can't Dance, wonderful book. All of these are great books and you can introduce it a little bit uh, differently to your child um, using Canopy for Kids. All right, so I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna actually exit Canopy for Kids and you'll notice that my number, as soon as I've done that, it pops back up. And it's the same way on the app at, on your TV. Um, you'll see that the number will appear, and then when you're in the kids section, it will disappear because it does not count. And once again, you can, under your name, put the parental control so that you can create it so it's just for the kids section, so they're not using up those credits for you. Um, one other thing I want to point out is the great courses. And if I start typing in the great, I can come down to the great courses and I'm going to look at them. Now, there are 6,491 videos associated with these great courses. And here's just the ones for history. And this is just a collection of them. But you'll notice here's the history of Spain, famous Romans, the Ottoman Empire. I can come down here for hobbies, um, the art of cooking. It's 24 total videos. Now, I know what you're thinking. I only have 19 left. Well, guess what? All of the ones that are called great, I'm gonna click back. All the ones that are called great courses do not count towards your 20 credits. So if I wanted to do the art of cooking and I wanted to go through each one of these episodes, I could. I could do it all today. I wanted to, um, but of course I'm not going to do that. Um, but there's all sorts of ones that are here. Now, the thing that you want to do is if you click right here, I'm going to show more. It's a total running time of, of time of 852 minutes. Obviously, I couldn't do all 24 today. However, um, here's supplemental material. If I click on this, Another window pops up and look, here's the PDF and it's 208 pages that goes along with this art of cooking. And it will tell you 
each, we'll tell you a little bit about each lesson will be represented in paper form or in computer form. You don't have to print this out, but you could if you wanted to. And of course, with any PDF, you can make big, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can do all sorts of different things. You can print it out or you could just save it, you could download it. So that's actually something that else that goes with this particular course. If I go back and let's say I want, I'm really missing travel. So I'm going to click up here in the great tours, experiencing medieval Europe. Once again, they have some supplemental material. So I click on that and then I download that. And here's 216 pages. And it will take me through each one of the lectures to give me some more background information on each one of the lectures that I'm going to be getting during that great course about experiencing medieval Europe. Be a great one to really kind of look at uh, and determine, um, do I really want to go there when I'm planning my next big trip? And I do believe that we all will travel eventually again. Um, but you've got history, you've got hobbies, you've got literature, you've got um, exploring humanities and science where you can learn some French. Um, there's all sorts of other ones here, learning Spanish, um, lifestyle, so yoga. Um, you've got all sorts of things here. You've got some skills on money management, um, how to program, the art of investing, public speaking. And then these are some top picks. These are ones that are the most popular. If I click on top picks, these are some of the great ones right here. So the big questions of philosophy. If I click right here and I show more, there is some supplemental material here for that as well. This one's a pretty big one because it is big questions of philosophy. So I'm gonna click right here and there's the PDF. Oh, can't, up oh, there it goes. And that's 287 pages as well. So you have access to these type of things just with your library card. And remember, all of the great courses are do not count towards your 20 credits for the month. So you could choose any of these. And I know some of us are getting to the point where we've run out of things to watch um, at home uh, through Netflix. And this is a great way to uh, learn a little bit of something and um, come out on the other side a little bit um, better off along the way. Um, you can learn how to draw, you can do screenwriting, um, but these are not gonna count towards your 20. And then of course, you can go right back to Canopy and you can look at, uh, yeah, let's open that. I'm gonna open up the, just click on the browse. These are all of the different things that are represented all of the wonderful things. Now to find the great courses, you just have to type in up here in the search bar, the great courses and they will pop up. So here are all the different ones that you can do and it goes on and on and on and they change this regularly. Um, I'd say each month there is something new that's added um, in the newly added movie area. And of course the added um, documentaries as well. So. I'm going to show you really quickly how to get there again. I'm going to click out of that. So you go to our main page. Then you go to browse. You go to stream and download. And then you come all the way down here where it says streaming movies and more. Um, you want to get the app or read about how, what, how you're going to do it. You can view in the on your computer, or of course you can just go ahead and download. It's very, it's pretty easy, but it's great to look right here. So before I let you go, I am going to show you that if you're going to be watching anything, don't forget about all of our wonderful virtual programming that is happening. I put in the date for this Saturday and moving forward, and we have 354 events that are virtual from story times for families and babies um, to watercolors to classes uh, for um, we have a wonderful class that's starting next week uh, that's called um, uh, make do and mend that you can check out and then of course there's also a creative writing class uh, that we're starting um, the following Friday let me go down one more 
And that's through the Adult Learning Center. And it's Thursday. Let me show one more. And it's a Friday evening class. Oh, here's a virtual game night. And that's for the teens. And that's happening Thursday the 5th. And here's our creative writing course. It's coming on the 7th. So check those out. Um, it's just, it's amazing all of the different programs that we have going on at the library. It's 354. One more thing that I want to point out is that on our website at the very, very bottom, you'll see that we have um, YouTube. And we have our own YouTube channel, but, and there's, that's where all of our wonderful story times are located. You can also see some past lunch and learns there. But I'm going to click, click right up here into search, and I'm going to say Film Club. I'm going to just type in Film Club. And a wonderful group of people here at the main library put this film club together. And what they did was they asked people to watch a particular film, and then they discussed it afterwards. And even though um, those have already happened, um, it's great to go ahead and watch Frank and then watch the discussion. Uh, sometimes they have some special guests that come on, um, but I really highly recommend that you check that out too. Um, it just is really cool. So I'm going to click out and, um, and see what else I have to tell you. All right, um, that is Canopy. Um, you can get scared this weekend with a good horror picture. Uh, you can get a class, you can watch classics, you can do the art house ones. Uh, there's programs from the History Channel and A&E. Um, there's also credit free viewing, so you don't have to get charged for your 20 credits each month. And of course, there's those great courses from yoga um, to the art of cooking. So check those out. Also, don't forget that 37 of our branches are open. They're open Monday through Saturday from 10 in the morning until 6 at night. We're doing curbside. We're using our drive throughs And then, of course, all of our virtual programming as well. Um, next week, we're going to talk about genealogy. Uh, Thanksgiving is the time that we usually get together with family. Um, this uh, Thanksgiving might be a little different for all of us but we can at least look at some of the resources that we have so you can start exploring your own genealogy. Um, come back next Thursday for Lunch and Learn. I'll see you then.